It's, it's very obvious the reference I have to conceptual art, but the main difference is that they were linked more to an ideology of Marxism. And in my case, I'm, uh, it's a different context, a different uh, situation. And uh, my relation to it is more in terms of the use of language and how language is very powerful in contemporary society and how that influenced society in, in all directions. Instead of having a political ideology behind. In this exhibition, you can see how I've been using text in different forms and content. For instance, the series I've been working titled Text Pieces is original writing that I generate, and I always place it in, uh, uh, in black text, vinyl black text, onto the wall with a specific uh, typography that's always aerial black. And then in other series like Headlines and Last Lines in the movies, where I appropriate text from headlines of newspapers and last lines of dramatic films, and then I apply it in a spray paint in a more gestural way. So it's, this, it's a little bit the opposite, that it's appropriated text, but written with my hand onto those different surfaces. And then in, in the other example, that it's uh, the joke and definition paintings, I totally appropriate the text in, in the sense of what it says and how it's written. So I appropriate scale one-to-one -one the work of Richard Prince, that he selected a joke and also selected that typography he's going to use. And then from another series of, of another artist, Joseph Kusut, I appropriate his work, Art as Idea, that it's a, a photocopy of a dictionary. So in that sense, I'm less involved in any aesthetical decisions in terms of how I use the text. Well, the title of the show, uh, it's a little bit the process of how I work, no? and, and also how we live in a society where we are uh, a, a collage of, of lots of things. So this idea of, of the control copy, control paste, no? it's something that uh, triggers me in how we develop our own narratives as individuals and then as a society. Now that we are all the time stealing and appropriating and reinterpreting and, and building up our own narratives in this individualism, that then becomes uh, very isolated, but it's part of our own society. It's very interesting that it reflects how accelerated we are, no? like how technology has uh, built this idea of uh, communication. No? Like we are, every day we're, we have more possibilities to communicate, but there's really nothing to communicate. No? So it's this contradiction that uh, I really like this slogan that says connecting people, but I think we're, every time we're more disconnected. Outdoor, it belongs to the series of doors that I've been working. And this uh, sculpture, I was confronted in a trip to Marfa, Texas to see all the work of Donald Judd that made a great impact on me. And I found this, this uh, door in the middle of the land and they explained us that he was going to build a house there. You know, so he was just, it was just a limit. And so then I, I, I did a replica scale one-to-one -one of that wooden door, and I, I made it into stainless steel. And the idea was that this door will be rotating with the wind. So I was incorporating the environment and the geography of where the, the sculpture was going to place, and with the reflective surface that has the stainless steel, the context will be changing and shifting depending on how the wind will spin it. And also, it, it was an existential question of when you were crossing the door, if you were going out or in, or you were you always in or you're always out. No, so. It was also playing with that idea. 
for me, the, the idea of using mirror, it's uh, very important because the work, I like to be confrontational. You know, the viewer, the work talks directly to the viewer when you have the mirror. And also, uh, for instance, in the series of headlines and last lines in the movies or in, in the doors, uh, the idea of having the, the image and the, the reflection of the mirror, it's this idea of how society, we're always chasing the present future all the time and how speculation is something that really moves us every day. No? It's, it's always trying to guess what's this uh, present future, what's just this immediate future uh, ahead of us. And the idea that you reflect yourself on it, it confronts you to, to that.